Hi, future scientists. I am Atom. Today, we delve into the fascinating realm of element isotopes, mass number, and average atomic mass. Before we jump into isotopes, let us understand what mass number is. The mass number of an atom equals the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus of the atom. There are three protons in this atom, so it is lithium. There are four neutrons in the nucleus, so the mass number equals seven. Here is an atom with six protons and six electrons, so it is a carbon atom. It also has six neutrons, so the mass number equals 12. And mass number is a whole number with no units. Now let us understand what isotopes are. Here is the carbon atom we just looked at with six protons and six neutrons with mass number 12. Here is another carbon atom. It has six protons and seven neutrons, so mass number is 13. Here is yet another carbon atom. It has six protons and eight neutrons, so mass number is 14. These three carbon atoms have the same number of protons and different numbers of neutrons. These are the three naturally occurring isotopes of carbon. From this example, we see that isotopes are variants of the same element since they have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. They are all carbon atoms. So how do we write them differently? Isotope notation. One method is a hyphen notation. First, write the element symbol. C for carbon. Step two, add a hyphen. And step three, write the element's mass number. So mass number 12. So C hyphen 12. So the other two isotopes of carbon will be C hyphen 13 and C hyphen 14. And we call them as carbon 12, carbon 13, and carbon 14. The second method is a condensed notation. Step one, write the element symbol. C for carbon. Step two, write its atomic number, which is a number of protons, as a left subscript, so number six. And step three, write its mass number, protons plus neutrons, as a left superscript, so 12. Step four, write its net charge as a right superscript. The net charge is zero for an atom, so we can leave that space blank. So it looks like carbon subscript 6, superscript 12. And we can do the same thing for the other two isotopes of carbon. So C613 and C614. Let us look at the hydrogen isotopes. Protium, the most abundant isotope, has one proton and zero neutrons. Deuterium has one proton and one neutron. Tritium has one proton and two neutrons. Average atomic mass. Is the mass number shown on the periodic table? No. Instead, do you see a decimal number at the bottom of each element square? That is the average atomic mass of the atom. So average atomic mass is a weighted average of the masses of an element's isotopes based on their relative abundance in nature. The unit for average atomic mass is AMU or atomic mass unit or unified atomic mass units, which is just U. To find the average atomic mass, we do a weighted average calculation, similar to how we figure out the semester grades for science. Semester grade average for science equals 45% times the test scores plus 40% times the lab scores plus 15% times the homework scores. Similarly, the average atomic mass of an atom can be written as average atomic mass equals the percent abundance 1 times mass 1 plus percent abundance 2 times mass 2 plus etc. depending on how many isotopes the atom has. Carbon-12 is the most abundant isotope of carbon in nature, 98.93%. The percent abundance of carbon-13 is 1.07%. The percent abundance of carbon-14 is 1 times 10 to the negative 10%. It is such an insignificant amount that we do not include it in the calculation 
for the average atomic mass of carbon. So average atomic mass of carbon will be equal to mass 12 times 0.9893 plus mass 13 times 0 0.0107, which equals 12.011 AMU. Isotope properties. Isotopes of the same element have similar chemical properties because they have the same electron configuration. However, their physical properties differ because they have different numbers of neutrons. Some isotopes are stable and some are unstable. For example, the hydrogen isotopes protium and deuterium are stable isotopes, whereas tritium is unstable and radioactive. In the case of carbon isotopes, carbon-12 and carbon-13 are stable, while carbon-14 is unstable and radioactive. Scientists use C14 to figure out the age of organic materials, which are stuff that originated from one's living things, such as wood, coal, bones, textiles, etc. C14 is produced in the atmosphere through interactions between cosmic rays and nitrogen atoms. Living things absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, including the C14. But after an organism dies, the amount of C14 its body contains begins to decrease as the C14 undergoes radioactive decay. By measuring how much C14 is left in a sample, scientists can tell roughly how long ago the organism died, up to about 50,000 years. This is called radiocarbon dating. Beyond 50,000 years, the amount of C14 remaining is too small to accurately measure the age of the dead organism, since the half-life of C14 is 5,730 years. Half-life is the time it takes for half of the original amount of C14 to decay. Challenge questions. Question 1. Element X has three isotopes. Calculate its average atomic mass. Isotope 1 has mass 12 AMU and abundance 60%. Isotope 2 is mass 15 AMU, abundance 25%. And isotope 3 is mass 18 AMU, abundance 15%. So average atomic mass of element X will be equal to 0.6 times 12 plus 0.25 times 15 plus 0.15 times 18 and that equals 13.65 AMU. Question 2. Uranium has three common isotopes. If the abundance of U234 is 0.01%, U235 is 0.71% and U238 is 99.28%, what is the average atomic mass of uranium? So, average atomic mass of uranium equals 234 times 0 0.0001 plus 235 times 0 0.0071 plus 238 times 0 0.9928. And that equals 237.98 AMU. Question 3. Consider the two nitrogen isotopes, N14 and N15. How many protons, electrons, and neutrons do these two isotopes have? Both isotopes have seven protons and seven electrons because the atomic number for nitrogen is seven. The number of neutrons for N14 is 14 minus seven equals seven, and number of neutrons for N15 equals 15 minus seven, which equals eight. Question 4. Convert the given information into hyphen notation and condensed notation. Atom with atomic number 14 and mass number 29. Atomic number 14 is silicon, so the hyphen notation is SI-29. And the condensed notation is SI, then the left subscript is 14, and the left superscript is 29, and the net charge is 0, so you can leave the right superscript blank. Question 5. How many electrons, protons, and neutrons are there in this atom? The atom given is selenium, left subscript 34, left superscript 78. 
So the number of protons equals 34 because 34 is the atomic number. So the number of electrons is also 34 because the net charge is zero. Number of neutrons will be equal to the mass number 78 minus the atomic number 34, which equals 44. Question six. Rubidium has an average atomic mass of 85.468 AMU and it has two isotopes. One of the isotopes has a mass of 84.912 AMU and the other has a mass of 86.901 AMU. Calculate the percent abundance of both isotopes. So we know percent abundance one times mass one plus percent abundance two times mass two equals the average atomic mass. And the total of the two abundances will be equal to 100%. So if the abundance of mass one is X, then the abundance of mass two will be one minus X. Let's look at the given data. Let's say mass one is 86.901 AMU and mass two equals 84.912 AMU. And the average atomic mass given is 85.468 AMU. So 86.901 times X plus 84.912 times 1 minus X equals 85.468. Simplifying, we get 1.989 times X equals 0 0.556. Solving for X, we get X equals 0 0.556 divided by 1.989 and that equals 0 0.28. So 1 minus x equals 1 minus 0 0.28, which equals 0 0.72. So the mass 1 abundance is going to be 28%, and the mass 2 abundance will be 72%. Question 7. Calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for aluminum, subscript 13, superscript 27, and write superscript plus 3. So the number of protons here is 13, since atomic number is 13. Number of neutrons is mass number 27 minus 13, which equals 14. Plus 3 is the net charge. The aluminum atom has 13 electrons, but since 3 electrons have been lost, now for the aluminum ion, the number of electrons will be equal to 13 minus 3, which equals 10 electrons. Question 8. Calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for calcium, left subscript 20, left superscript 40, and the net charge 2 plus. So the atomic number is 20, so number of protons is 20. Mass number is 40, so the number of neutrons is 40 minus 20 equals 20. Calcium atom should have 20 electrons, but this is a calcium 2 plus ion. So two electrons have been lost, so the number of electrons the calcium 2 plus ion has is 18 electrons. Question 9. Chlorine has two main isotopes, chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. The natural abundance of chlorine 35 is about 75% and chlorine 37 is about 25%. Calculate its average atomic mass. So average atomic mass of chlorine equals 0.75 times 35 plus 0.25 times 37, which equals 35.5 AMU. Chlorine has an average atomic mass of 35.5 AMU, and you can see that its most abundant isotope with, has a mass number of 35. So from this, we see that the average atomic mass of an element is often very close to its most abundant isotope's mass number. Question 10. Lithium-6 and lithium-7 are two naturally occurring isotopes of lithium. The average atomic mass of lithium is 6.94 AMU. Which of the two lithium isotopes is most abundant? Why? Lithium-7 is the most abundant because the average atomic mass 6.94 AMU is closer to 7 than to 6. Question 11. The U-238 isotope has atomic number 92. How many neutrons does this uranium atom have? Number of protons is 92. So the number of neutrons in this case is 238 minus 92, which equals 146. Question 12. 
write the hyphen and condense notation for the hydrogen isotopes. So protium has one proton, zero neutrons. So protium is hydrogen hyphen one and the condensed notation will be eight left subscript one, left superscript one. Deuterium has one proton, one neutron. So deuterium is H hyphen two. Condensed notation is H left subscript one, left superscript two. Tritium has one proton, two neutrons. So it is H hyphen three. Condensed notation is H left subscript one, left superscript three. There you have it. Element isotopes, mass number and average atomic mass. Please subscribe, like, and share. Join me in my next video about element families. Happy learning. Thank you.